Hey everyone, it's Jennifer. Today I wanted to show you a tag that I made for my son's teacher. It has a dimensional apple on it. Now you could do this with a variety of different um, things. It doesn't have to be an apple. You could do a heart or a star, different sizes or shapes. You just need a punch or a die to do so. So here's the apple that I did. It's quite big and I put it on a tag that'll hang nicely on a plant. Here you can see the dimension that I got using these die cuts folded and glued together. It's very easy to do and something that you could stick on a package if you wanted to also. So I'm using some products from My Favorite Things and it's this apple die. I think it's a great die and I die cut a bunch of red pieces. I use their red cardstock which is nice and heavy. It's 100 pounds so this will be nice and sturdy and I'm just going to fold them right down the middle. If you wanted to you could score these first to make them easier to fold but I'm kinda lazy so I'm just gonna fold them all in half very quickly. Now as I mentioned you could make this from a variety of shapes however the shapes need to be symmetrical so that you can fold them like this and have the sides match so a star down the center or a heart down the middle would be perfect for this also or just circles if you wanted to but this apple is perfect for it I'm just gonna fold them right down the middle now once you have a bunch of them put together I would say anywhere between six and ten you're just gonna start gluing the sides together so I'm putting lots of glue on here and I'm gluing one half to another half and you're just going to keep on doing this until you have lots of them added together. Now if you wanted to turn this into an ornament you could. You could do just more apples folded in half glued back to back and then just continue it around and glue the one remaining half to the other remaining half. But I'm just going to do half of an apple so that it'll stick nicely onto a tag. So I'm just going to keep putting an adhesive down. Any adhesive would work for this and just keep gluing one half to another half. Now this is a great way to use up scraps. You could just die cut a bunch of these apples from a variety of red colored scraps. Open your drawer with grab all the red colored scraps of pattern papers or stamped pieces and just do a variety and it really adds a lot to it if you put some patterns in there also. Or you could have taken this cardstock and stamped an image across it. Maybe a different image on each of the pieces. It really doesn't matter. Anything goes here. So after I've got a bunch of them together, you'll see I'm going to just kind of let it fluff up. And I think I'm pretty happy with the amount that I have here. And what I like to do is just kind of give them a nice score just to make sure they're a nice increase. So I'm just going to take my scoring tool and rub it across here. You don't have to do this. I just think it gives it a nice finished look. And there you have your dimensional apple. Now these leaves from this die are great because it actually embosses the little veins in the leaves, which I think is really nice. Now I thought it'd be fun to put this apple onto a felt tag, just something different, something with a little bit of texture. I love using felt, but sometimes I have a hard time finding good quality felt that comes in good colors. And I really like the My Favorite Things felt. It's what I use all the time. And I use this steel gray here. I think this is a really nice one. They've got cardstock and buttons and ribbons and ink to match. Now this one is the only one that's heathered. The rest of them are solid, uh, which I, I think is a good thing. Except for I think this steel gray is fun that it's got that little heathered look to it. So I'm just going to take a piece out. There's a lot that comes in one pack. Uh, so I'm going to take one piece out here and I'm just going to run it through my die cut machine. This is a My Favorite Things tag die and you can use these dies in any die cut machine. So I just ran it through my Vagabond but you could use a Cuddlebug or a Big Shot, whatever you want. So now that I have this uh, felt tag, I'm going to go ahead and add this uh, my dimensional uh, apple onto it. Now I'm just using regular adhesive. Once I have my my tag all put together, I'm gonna actually go in and squirt some hot glue behind it just to make sure that it doesn't fall off um, so that all the pieces stay in place or you could use any other kind of strong adhesive. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit behind these pieces and add them to the top of the tag too. Now this felt you could die cut any shape from. You could use you know this this felt for making dimensional flowers. You could use it for pretty much anything. I just think it's fun to either make a card with some backing to it or a tag from the felt too. So now that I have all my pieces added, this is quick and easy to put together. I could see this being something that you could make for several teachers at once. Now that I've got all the pieces added, I want to put a little tag that says thank you and then on the other side I'll write the teacher's name. This is a new die cut set from My Favorite Things. It's got all these great tags and frames. I'm going to reach in and get this one. I like that it cuts a nice tiny little tag, something that would be really hard to cut on my own. And then I'm going to use this old stamp set from My Favorite Things. It's from the Notch Tag Set. I used it in another video the other day. It's great because it has tiny messages. And I'm just going to stamp thank you on this and add this onto the tag. Now you'll notice in my final picture I actually changed this tag to white so that it would kind of stand out more. But here I'm using the craft 
uh, paper from My Favorite Things, which is a really nice medium shade of, of paper. Now all of their card stocks are 100 pounds. They're nice and thick and perfect for card making. So I just have some twine here. This is from May Arts. And I'm just going to tie it, du I've doubled it up, and I'm just going to tie it into a double knot at the top here. Just a loop that I can use to hang this off of the little plant that I plan to give this with. with. So I have my little tag here, and again, remember I'm going to change that to white before I take the picture. It just makes it stand out. I thought this blended in with the stem of the apple too much. So you can see our finished apple here. Now you could add even more pieces to have more dimension or again you can make this in a continuous circle so that you can have like an ornament. There's a lot that you can do with this technique. So there you can see the white, the tag that I changed to white. And you can also see a close-up look of that felt and the nice color that it has. So there you go, a fun dimensional tag for a teacher gift. Now remember you can cut this from many different shapes and do this dimensional technique with many different um, die cuts or punch pieces. If you have any questions, please visit my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.